Okay, so letting 11 prime icon packs choose our foot champions team. Are you facing ridiculous teams and you're stuck with ones just like this? Well, look no further. Head over to u7buy.com and get yourself some foot coins using the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. It'll be linked in the description. They are cheap, safe, and the most reliable. So make sure you go ahead and check them out and make your team better than ever. Okay, boys, so today, we are back with a brand new video, and as you can tell by the title, the thumbnail, etc. Today, we are bringing you a pretty mad video. We are today allowing 11 prime icon packs to choose our foot champions team. If you guys didn't see the other day, obviously EA dropped the prime icon SBC pack. I'll put it on the screen now so you can see it. As you can see, here it is. And if you're wondering what the actual cost of these icon packs are, the price on Footbin is coming around about 450k for PlayStation and like 417k on Xbox. So if you actually put the maths together of what the actual cost of this video will be, we're looking at basically 5 million coins. That's how much has gone into this. That, that, that is ridiculous to think. Like, to process 5 million coins is being spent on this team. Like, think of the team you could build with 5 million coins. So, so these icon packs best, you know, provide us with something decent. So yeah, within this video, you're going to see some packs that I may have opened before and some that you probably haven't seen as well. Like I always say in a lot of the videos, like a lot of the time we do have to use packs that we previously opened, but still, we're going to put them into a team and it should be all good. It's still part of the video. It should still be very, very fun. And like I say in all the challenge videos, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below the next challenge you want to see. I actually did do a pinned comment. It wasn't a video idea, but it was an actual feedback idea in the last video. As you can see, the most liked comment was from Ian Costa, and he put, it's fine if you upgrade players, keep up the good work. Which I definitely appreciate just for future episodes. Obviously, instead of just using gold cards, like a lot of you guys were just saying, it is pretty boring just to see gold cards. So, you guys don't mind me upgrading players, which is good. Obviously, in terms of this video, we're not going to be upgrading to moments, because that would make it even more expensive. But for just like the upgrade packs or ones that don't guarantee special cards, it is definitely probably a lot better to actually use upgraded versions of the cards if them cards have better versions. Anyways, I think that's enough of me waffling. It is now time to get into the 11 packs first. Let's head over to FIFA and I'll see you guys there. Prime icon pack. Oh, my overlay's not even on, but it is the first one of the day. Let me just move my camera whilst it opens. Make it a big one to start, EA. Make it a big one to start. Come on. First icon, prime icon pack. Dutch. Oh, who is that? Is that Rijkaard? That's Rijkaard. It's not the worst looking card to be fair. It isn't the worst looking card. It really isn't actually. It actually isn't the worst looking card. Definitely could be worse. Definitely could be worse, I think. EA, this time, <laughs> home run, knock it out the park. Last time we got Raikard. Let's just improve on that at least. Can we improve on it? What nation do we see? Oh no, he ain't using him. Yeah, he definitely isn't using him. Prime Shevchenko. Some people might like that card. I don't know. 88 pay. It's just, what is he? Three star skills? I think he's three star skills. I can't lie. I think he's three star skills. This is his hat trick of icon packs now. We got Rykard. Who's the second? I, I've somehow forgot the second one. I don't know if it was great. I can't remember. But make this one big. That's all I want to say. A big, big icon. Okay. 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 All right. Nice. Yeah. I, I mean, five star skills. It doesn't actually look that bad. Realistically, the card doesn't actually look that bad. Five star skills, four star weak foot. Strong link to play of the month, Ian Acho, if you did it. And Simon. So, actually, it's genuinely not the worst card. 87 pace, five star skills, four star weak foot. I don't actually think it's that. I've never used them. I need to try them out. All right. I compact. Prime I compact, number one. Show us a Brazil. A Brazil? A Brazil. One today, please. French? Oh, left mid. Actually, you know what? He is an Arsenal fan. I don't know if he's already got Perez. I th I, why do I have a feeling? He's got a lot of icons in his club. That's what I know. It's not the end of the world getting Perez. Has he already got him? He hasn't. You know what? As an Arsenal fan, he'll probably actually take that. I just want to point out that I accidentally didn't put Perez in and switch him for another player. I don't know how this happened. I think I'm missing a pack and I have this Perez. So if you're wondering when it gets later on to that, I do apologize. There's literally just one player swap. My bad. All right. Prime Michael Pack, number two. Pyrrhus is the benchmark, so hopefully we can just go up and up here. You know, pack after pack. So, what do we see in pack two? Come on, a mad usable icon would be sick. Spanish centre forward, is that Raul? I don't know what his prime is like, I'm not going to lie. Night Actually, you know what? You probably would say that's probably maybe more usable than 92 rated 88 pace, 90 dribbling, 92 shooting. It doesn't look the worst of cards. Can we progress up even more? However, Perez might be more valuable to him because he is an Arsenal fan. Number three. Three in a row. Brazilian, please, one day we can see one. Argentinian. Right back. 
Zanetti, I don't know who his right back is at the moment, but... It's not the worst right back card. You can even play him in midfield, I guess, if you wanted to as a CDM. Not the worst one. They're all kind of just average icons. I guess Paul's like Perez, like I said, not the greatest, but he's an Arsenal fan. And then the other two are like, eh, you could use them, but they're also not the greatest. Okay, we'll kick it off with a normal one. Middle is always lucky. I'm still yet to see a Brazilian icon from these prime icons. And I reckon I've opened, what, 20? Still yet to see Brazilian. So if you want to make it happen, make it happen right now. Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardiola. Brilliant. Okay. Pep Guardiola is the first one out of the five. All right. Nation. We haven't done a nation roulette. We have not done a nation roulette yet. So let's do one now. Open it up. Crack it open. And pray to God. All right. Let's start from the bottom. Let's start from the bottom. Oh, shite. I don't know what icons he's got. I I don't know. I don't know if he's already got Rush. I, I, uh, oh, this is a little bit awkward, actually. Romania. Republic of Ireland. Uh, we're gonna have to wait for confirmation. It's keen. Confirmation, it's keen. Okay, third time lucky. That's what they say, right? Middle pack, third time lucky. <sighs> Please. Please. Please, something decent. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, this is not great. This is not great. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so for this pack, we're gonna do a stat reveal pack. So, what we're going to do, let me quickly show you now, is obviously we're going to open up the pack. And basically, in the way, we're going to have this image. And we're going to reveal the actual in-game stats from right to left. See if we can figure it out and hope to God that it's actually a good pull. Because the last three haven't been great. Good physicals. Very good physicals. 87 physical. Def it's a defender. It's 100% a defender. Look at them. 93 defending. Sorry, onto the dribbling. 70 dribbling. Oh. Here we go. This is passing this time. 76. So it's most likely a centre-back by the looks of it. The pace is what we care about, I think, at this point. Shooting's obviously going to be bad because we already know it's a defender. Okay, this is the key part, whether it's decent-ish or really bad. Oh, God. What do we see? 73, 73. Yeah, yeah, that's not great, is it? Okay, so my chat, reckon it's Hierro. They're most likely right. It is. Oh, it's the arrow. Okay, final one. Positional roulette. Here we go. Crack it open. Look away and pray. All right, goalkeeper first. That's not prime check. That's definitely not prime check. It's right back. No, I think we got him earlier, actually. I'm pretty sure it's not him. Centre back. There's a lot of centre backs. Are any of these prime? Well, that, they, these two have got position. We already got Hierro, and that's not prime Mardini. So, no. Midfield. CDM. Already got in both of these already. I know that. Centre mid. There's a lot of these as well. Uh, These are the only new ones. Okay, cam. A lot of cams in the game as well. A lot of cams. Oh, I reckon it's Baggio. I don't know if he's already got him, but I've got a feeling it's him. I think, yeah, it's Baggio. Oh, what a... Bunch of stinkers them packs were. All right, so there were the 11 packs. So I'm going to go ahead, put them all into a squad. Then we are going to figure out this team. So let me do that now. All right, here are all the prime icons that we have got at our disposal. The first uh, issue that comes to mind is actually there's not a single goalkeeper. Literally not one at all. And also we literally have, I think, one centre back, a right back, not a left back. Well, anyways, we're going to try and figure this out. We've gotten barely any, if not actually any wingers. So I think a formation that's already come to my head has got to be probably the four triple two. That's probably our best bet here in getting some decent amount of chemistry. So we've got some cams in Okocha and Baggio. That can be our cams. Our CDMs can be uh, Roy Keane, I think we'll go with. And maybe Rijkaard or Guardiola. Either Rijkaard or Guardiola plays at centre back. Who's the quicker one? Guardiola just edges it by one pace, so I'll put him at centre-back because we all know pace means so much in terms of centre-backs in this game. Obviously then, we'll put uh, Hierro at centre-back as well alongside him. We've got Raul to go up top somewhere. We'll bring Zanetti down, maybe him and Shevchenko up top. Zanetti obviously at right-back. And that is pretty much done by deciding if I want Nakata or Rush in goal. I guess we go on height. Ian Rush is sitting at 5 foot 11 and Nakata's at 5 foot 9. So Ian Rush is going to go goal as our 5 foot 11 goalkeeper. I honestly don't know how this is going to go. So yes, that's the team I think we're going to go with. Let's just go back over it again. In goal, we've got Ian Rush. Right back is Zanetti. Right centre back is Guardiola. Left centre back is Hierro. Left back is Nakata. 
Left defensive midfield is Raikard. Right defensive midfield is Keen. Right camp, we've got Baggio. Left camp, we've got Okocha. Then left striker is Raul. And right striker is Shevchenko. Okay. Yeah, I'm a bit worried in terms of the defense. And especially the goalkeeper and the catter at left back. That is just definitely going to be interesting. But it is now time to go and find ourselves an opponent. So, let's get into it. And let's pray that our opponent's awful. Oh, so here is our opponent's team. He's got that Renati Sanchez, Simon, Neymar... Bruno Gramerez, uh, Ben Arfa, Diata, Fafana, Varane. He's got quite a lot of nice players. So can the icons keep up with them? That's the question. Let's see what we could do. Raul, spin him. Nice. And again. Oh my God. Raul. Oh, go on then. Raul, within four minutes, has scored us a goal. He actually feels pretty decent. That's nice to see. Uh oh, uh, this is not looking good. Good challenge, Guardiola. Oh, that's a goal. That is a goal. Oh, God. Ian Rush looks so small in goal. It's ridiculous. That's one all. Good chat. Lynch. I can't be bothered. Right. Okay. It started nicely. Now we're two goals down. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Raul. He's got his second. He absolutely held the defenders off there. And now it's 3-2. We're back into it. Oh, he's just hitting these three balls down the line now. This is all he's doing. And what a saviour rush. I caught you. I caught you. There we go. We're back into it. I'm not going to lie. Shevchenko is absolutely useless up there. I might bring the catter up. But, you know, Raul and Okocha have played decent so far. All right. Well, there we go. And it's half time. I do kind of want to switch it up. Like, Shevchenko is just kind of up there and in the way. But, you know, we'll go into the second half. See how it goes. And then if we need to switch up, we will. Nice. Oh, that's a ball. Oh, that's a ball. And that is a beautiful goal. Oh, my God. What a ball through from Okocha there. And what a finish. Can Shevchenko do something? Oh, Shevchenko. What a finish. He's actually done something. That is probably the biggest miracle about this game. I can't lie. That is ridiculous. Out to Baggio. 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 How do you pronounce his name? Raul for the hat-trick hero. I think that might be more than a hat-trick. I don't know. But we're two goals up. We are two goals up. Come on. Is he onside? I don't know if he's onside. Oh, no. Ian Rush has gone for the rush. And I think he's on. Brilliant. Well, that's what I'd probably get for not having a goalkeeper. Come on. Into Raul. Here we go. Raul, please. Gets back onto the finesse. Oh, you know what? If we didn't have someone of the quality of Raul, I think we would have been done for here. But he has come clutch. All right, then, there we go. The final whistle is there. And we actually managed to win with a full prime icon team, which doesn't seem that challenging. But then you actually look at the team and you see Ian rushing goal, Nikata at left back, Guardiola at centre back. And yeah, I'm happy. Well, there we go. It's always nice to get one of these challenge videos as a win. It's always a good feeling. Like I said earlier, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below the next challenge video you want to see. I will try and pin the most liked one. So any ideas you like the look of below, make sure you smash the like button there as well so I can see which are the most popular. But yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.